Ready to learn how to start a book selling business online? If you know the Lord called you to write and self-publish your own books, but you're not quite sure how to turn it into a business, in this video, I'm gonna go over the three steps that you can use for starting your own book business online. Step number one for how to start book selling business online, choose your book niche. Choose your book niche. So when I started my business writing and self-publishing books, I had no idea what my niche was. I was writing books about fitness. I was writing books about being a Christian during college. I was writing young adult Christian romance novels. I was writing daily devotionals about anxiety. I was writing all over the place because I had no idea what my niche was. And because I was all over the place, I had trouble establishing an audience for myself to purchase multiple books for me. You gotta choose your niche first when you're starting your own book selling business. A niche is just the segment of the population that you serve with your books. It's literally the problem that you're solving as an author. And there are some very common niches that we all know about, health and wellness, dating and relationships, you know, everybody's purchasing stuff about making money online, everybody's purchasing stuff about um, spiritual development, personal development. These are all very popular niches, but they're not the only ones. There are literally thousands. And if you go to amazon.com and you search the book category, you will find thousands that you can write in. So the very first step is to find your book niche in order for you to build a scalable business as a faith-based author. So here's how to find your book niche. Number one, write down everything that God purposed you to write about as a faith-based author. This usually is gonna have to do with your testimony and the trials and tribulations that you've overcome in your life. If you look at the Apostle Paul and what he wrote about in the Gospels, it had everything to do with his personal a relationship with Jesus Christ. Everything that he went through on that road to Damascus, what he'd done before and what he did after, everything pointed to that. He didn't write <laughs> the God. I'm sorry. I'm just thinking about this. He didn't write the book of Acts about his journey of how he learned to be a speaker. He didn't write the book of Acts about his journey of how he got through Pharisee school. No, even though he could have written about those things, right? He wrote about the test that he experienced serving the Lord Jesus. That's what you wanna think about when it comes to your niche as a faith-based author. What has the Lord allowed you to master in your life? What has the Lord bought you through over and over again that this is like now the back of your hand? So for me here at Godwood Girl, my niche that really started to take off my business was personal development. And that's because in my life over and over again, since a very young age, the Lord has allowed me to achieve some pretty big goals. Like I would set these goals and then people in my life would tell me I'm gonna fail and I'd be like, forget you. And then I would figure out a way to get them done. And this has been my experience since I was very, very little, all glory to Jesus. So when I became an author, it was very natural for me to talk about goal setting, to talk about overcoming procrastination, to talk about discipline and motivation and consistency and getting stuff done. And that's what the first version of God that would grow was, personal development books that helped you activate your God-given purpose. So really think about what the Lord has allowed you to overcome that is most likely gonna be where your niche lies. So once you've identified what the Lord has called you to overcome, step number two for finding your niche, figure out what category you fall into on amazon.com. So go on to amazon.com, sort by the books category, and see what those things that you've gone through, what category Amazon would put that book under. And number three, once you know that, that is your niche. That is your niche. If you fall into multiple categories, choose the niche that has the most best sellers and the most reviews. That means it's going to be a very popular niche that you can write for. Step number two for how to start book selling business online. Now that you know your niche, you gotta figure out your audience within that niche. Choose your audience within that niche. Now, why is it important to choose an audience within the niche? Here's why. <laughs> different types of people like to learn information in different ways. If I am in the fitness niche, the health and wellness niche, and I wanna write books that help people lose weight, the mom who just had a baby and literally is taking care of a newborn who wants to lose that stubborn belly fat is gonna want her solution to losing that weight very differently than the 19 year old college student who's on the wrestling team and he needs to cut weight very quickly before his next match. Same exact problem that you're solving, same exact niche, health and wellness. But the mom who's literally taking care of her newborn 24 hours a day is not gonna have the same fitness plan as the 19 year old wrestler. This is all he does all day. <laughs> so that's why you need to make sure you understand your customer avatar, AKA the person who you're writing your books for. Because the way that you write your solutions for them, the way you write your books for them, needs to depend on who they are and what they're looking for. So here's how you figure out your customer avatar that you're writing your books for. Step number one, who has God called you to serve as a faith-based author? 
usually who God has called you to serve is going to be similar to you. Let's just be honest here. As, mo as much as all of us want to say that, you know, we're very open and all this stuff, most of us hang out with people very similar to us. And there's a, there's a reason psychologically for this. Um, you know, the Proverbs, you show me who your friends are, I'm going to show you who you are. It's true. It's very true. So that's why a lot of us will hang out with people similar to us. But most likely when you're writing your books, you're going to write for people who are similar to you. Um, so for example, here at God That Would Grow, I like to write for people who are very self-motivated and who don't need a lot of hand-holding in order to get stuff done. And the reason why is because I'm very self-motivated and I hate when people try to hold my hand to get stuff done, right? I want you just to tell me the steps and then I just want to run and go do it. That's who I write for. Somebody who wants to hear the steps, but then also once they're handheld as they take action on the steps, that's not my audience and I know that. So I write my books where all I do is give you the steps. I don't hold your hand to do it because I understand who my reader is. And my audience, my book readers appreciate that. There's not a lot of fluff in my books. There's not a lot of wasted space. Just get the steps and take action. And I feel like that's what God the Wood Girl is known to do with my tutorials, with my eBooks, with my courses, whatever it is. So understand your audience because it's going to dictate how you actually write your books for them. Step number two for figuring out who you're writing your books for, you gotta figure out what their dreams and goals are. Um, so there's something called demo, customer demographics, the physical characteristics of your audience, customer psychographics, the behavioral characteristics, like the personality traits of your audience. And those are both very, very important. But I find understanding my customers' dreams and goals far more important than the physical stuff and the psychological stuff. It's, it's interesting because when you understand what motivates your customer to get stuff done, to purchase a book, to purchase your ebook and your products, it makes writing for them so much easier. I understand my girl's motivation like the back of my hand because I was that girl. I was that girl sitting in my nine to five job wanting to be writing books for the Lord and I couldn't do it because I was so busy, right, with my work. I understand her because I was her. And so I understand her dreams and goal is to make a side hustle writing and self-publishing books. She's been dreaming of this since she was a little girl. She's always wanted it to be a source of income for her. She has all these ideas in her head. She wants to put them out in the world, but she doesn't have time to because she has to spend all her time at this job. But if she could have the side hustle, she could do the job and the side hustle at the same time and write these books. I get my girl. So when you understand what motivates her, it makes it much easier for you to write the right topics for her. And then third, now that you know the dreams and goals, go ahead and create your customer avatar board. I want you to name your customer, your book reader. I want you to give her a picture on Google. I want you to write her dreams and goals down, write her motivations down, write her pain points down, and just be very, very clear on who this person is so that when you write your books, you understand her like the back of your hand. And then step number three for how to start your book selling business online. Now that you know your niche, now that you know your customer avatar, you need to know how you're going to sell your books. And that is where you're going to build your first book funnel. Build your first book funnel. When you are a business, you need to have something to sell. That is a business. <laughs> you have a product or service and somebody exchanges money for that product or service. If there's no money being exchanged or there's no product or service, you just have a very expensive hobby. I hate to say it. It's not a business yet. In order for you to make it a business, you need to have a product to sell. So this is where we're gonna build our book funnel. A book funnel is basically a series of web pages designed to sell your book to your customer avatar. So a couple of things that you need to make sure you include, right? When I started doing book funnels, I had to make sure I had the book, kind of important because you need something to sell. I had to have something to sell to my customer after they purchase the book. So this could be a workbook companion, an audiobook version, an ebook version. Maybe you have a vision board companion, maybe you have a course companion, something. And then you need to have your sales funnel itself. So you can build these from scratch, but I don't recommend that. I recommend using sales funnel software. I like to use ClickFunnels, but there are so many different options nowadays. Um, but you need to go ahead and put your book funnel together so that you can actually have a business. So here's how to put together your first book funnel. Number one, do market research and figure out what book you can write for your customer avatar that she's actually interested in. You can do market research by going to amazon.com, selecting your chosen category, your niche, and seeing what's already best selling in that niche. Do not copy somebody's book topic, sis. You're gonna model. Don't copy, that's illegal, and you'll get yourself in trouble. Number two, 
go ahead and write that book. So you want to write this book based off of your testimony and what the Lord has taught you in order to learn this solution to the problem. So if you're in Godwood Girl Author Toolkit, then you know that I teach you how to create your curriculum, build your outline based off that framework, and then you write your book teaching that framework through your testimony. I love my formula. It's the best in my opinion, but go ahead and write your book as a solution to the problem. And then number three, build out your sales funnel. So you're going to have three pieces to the sales funnel. First, your lead magnet, the free digital gift that you give to somebody in exchange for their email address. Second, your book that you just wrote as a solution to the problem. That's the tripwire page. And then third, some sort of bundle or upsell that you can offer your book reader after they purchase your book. This should be something that is not required to get the solution out of the book, but helps them apply the solution even faster. So if you've gone through my sales funnels, you know, I like to sell bundles, you know, I like to sell courses, you know, I like to sell printables and downloads and prayer journals, whatever you want it to be, go ahead and build out your book funnel. Once your book funnel is available, right? Once somebody can purchase from your book business, you are a self-published author and sis, you are officially a business. Congratulations. Now, if you need help doing this, Check out the brand new faith-based author school that I created to help you get started with this step-by-step. -step. So in the author toolkit, everything is already recorded and already available for you. So as soon as you sign up, you can get started with your book. So first up is the Write Your Nonfiction Book Workshop that I was telling you about. All of these modules are already here. Finding your topic is nine minutes. Creating your book methodology is 21 minutes. Creating your book outline is 22 minutes. Writing your book manuscript is 28 minutes. Copy editing your book is 23 minutes. Designing your book interior, 29 minutes. Designing your book exterior, 15 minutes. And then publishing your book, 12 minutes. So this is already recorded. So as soon as you sign up, you can go through and go ahead and make sure you have a book that solves a specific problem. And then in the author toolkit, girl, the ebook tutorials, 81 minutes. <laughs> the workbook companion, let me show you some of this stuff. So this is the workbook that I created for the author brand class, right? It's so simple to do. So I show you how to do this step-by-step -step in the workbook class. The prayer journal, this one's 98 minutes. So let me show you the God Will Go prayer journal. A lot of you guys have seen this on godwillgrow.com. I'm gonna show you how to create these prayer journals step-by-step. -step. You'll learn how to do it spiral or you can do it the ones that don't have the spiral as well. Um, so this is the one that I actually demonstrate for you inside the class. You can do a perfect bound as well. So you're gonna be able to get your prayer journals done. I'm also gonna teach you daily devotionals. If you remember, I have the, um, find your purpose daily devotional. So this tutorial is 120 minutes long. I literally record myself doing it so you can follow along step by step. So you'll know how to do daily devotional step by step. I'm also going to teach you Bible study guides. If you remember, the very first book that I published was a Bible study guide. <laughs> so I'll show you how to do these as well. These make fantastic companions to your books. I'm also going to show you how to do a daily planner. If you remember on godward.com, I have my daily planner, the legendary purpose planner. Um, one of the very first planners that I had was the 30 day success planner as well. If you remember in my original boss filmmaker check, so I have this planner. So you can have, you can do this many different ways. So I show you how to do a daily planner in that class. Um, I also, I'm going to show you how to do a digital planner as well. And you're going to learn how to do a journal. Um, and one of the really, really fun ones is the adult coloring books, the coloring books for adults. So this is the one that you're going to see me create and self-publish in this two hour class. This is so pretty. And this one is all about mindfulness, right? How to worship the Lord while we are being present and helping ourselves to get rid of anxiety. You're going to learn how to make these step-by-step -step inside of the adult coloring book class. So all of that is already recorded, already available for you as soon as you sign up. So when you join the God Will Grow Faith-Based Author School, you'll get access to the author toolkit that includes the Write Your Nonfiction Book Workshop, a $497 value, how to write and self-publish an ebook, a $497 value, how to create a workbook companion, a $497 value, how to write and self-publish a prayer journal, a $497 value, how to write and self-publish a daily devotional, a $497 value. You're going to learn how to write and self-publish a Bible study guide, a $497 value, how to create and self-publish a coloring book, a $497 value, how to write and self-publish a daily planner, a $497 value, and how to create and self-publish a notebook journal, a $497 value. All these recordings are already there. They show you how to do it step-by-step -step so you can bundle your book. The whole goal is so that you can bundle your book, sis, so you can offer through a sales funnel. So to get started, go to christianauthorschool.com, christianauthorschool.com. Let me show you what that page looks like. You're going to, it'll take you to this application form. Go ahead and fill out this application form, hit submit, and that's how you'll be able to get access to the brand new God That Would Grow Faith-Based Author School.
So if you're ready to join the God Will Grow Faith-Based Author School, go to christianauthorschool.com and fill out the application form. If you're not ready to start your book business yet, but you just want to do more research, come join my free upcoming three-day Start Your Book Business Challenge, where I'll take you through the three steps of starting your own book business, including your niche, your book audience, and your book funnel. So click the link in the description box to get started. And don't forget to watch this video for more information on how to grow your book business even faster. God bless you, sis. I'll see you in the next video.